Zero. Do you not know the answer? It's, it's my head, I just can't think. You know you don't have to do this, right? Yeah. Man, I just got this camera brand new. It cost me three hundred dollars. Yeah, it's cool. It's got a twenty-six point optical zoom. It's got. Are you uh, sure about this? You can sit there and yeah. do night vision. Yeah, I'm sure. It's got a straight light on it. Okay, man. We're ready. It's a little funny. It's kind of straight comes off, but that doesn't bother me much. This is gonna be cool. Is everything ready? All good here. Uh, it doesn't appear to be working. No. Sh Dr. Joseph Weinstein developed what was then and is still a very controversial theory regarding the process of electrolysis. Weinstein thought that he could separate the ego and the id from the human psyche so that the mental capacity of the individual could be investigated much more deeply by electroshock therapy. Now, two things came out of this investigation by Weinstein. One, the death of the patient, and two, the life sentence of Dr. Weinstein in the New York City. Spontaneous cranial combustion just isn't feasible. Um, why don't you try... Hey, Professor Lee. Yes, Will. I was wondering if an experiment like Dr. Weinstein's would have better results if you use modern medicine in today's technology? Well, a couple of problems. One, it was a complete failure. Two, who in their right mind would take part in it and who would fund it? Yeah, that's stupid question. No, she may get hurt. I don't want to hurt you. Who are you talking to, honey? Bill, Mommy. How many times have I talked to you today? Are you okay? We gotta do it again. He wants us to. That's just stupid. I thought electrolysis was like the removal of unwanted hair. <laughs> no, that's electrolysis. <laughs> Did you really just ask that? Man, shut up. Are you okay? I didn't you do anything. Call 911. <laughs> Thanks. I'll see you later. One, two, three, four, breathe. Oh my, oh my god, god fix this. this. One, two, two, three, four, breathe. <sighs> what happened? You have and died, dude. Did it work? I think it did. I feel different. I, f I feel clean. Like, like I'm new.
I'll set some clothes out for you for tomorrow. If you want to. Thanks. You know, right after you stop moving, I've never been that worried before. Promise me you'll never do anything like that again. Crazy nightmare about. Just don't worry about it. Well, I'm running late. I've got to go to class, but I put your clothes out on the couch, so I'll All see right. you later, okay? Bye. That's good. I'll see you. Yeah, they're on the couch. Enter William. What are you up to today? You remember the wine scene experiment? Yes, and I told you it was a dead end street. Well, what if I was to tell you that it worked? First off, I would call you a liar. The Weinstein Project was a huge, huge failure. It resulted in the death of the test subject and it set back the study of electrolysis for decades. Well worked. William, are you telling me that you went around my back and conducted a dangerous experiment on school grounds? You're my best student. I don't want to see you risk your life. I don't want to see you ruin your life. And I don't want to see you lose your future career in science. I'm thinking you're just a little bit jealous, Professor. William, I think you're acting a bit childish. Don't call me William. It's kind of pissing me off. I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask you to leave. I need to make a phone call. The Regents are not going to be happy to find out that there's been an unauthorized experiment conducted on this campus. William, I said it's time to leave. It's time to leave. I'm tired of people telling me when to leave. Now it's my turn. Yeah, it feels like I'm always here. I'm just head back there. He's still there. Hey, Professor, I got some really good... Professor? Oh, my God. What's wrong? 
He's dead. Who? What are you talking about? The professor. He's dead. Call an ambulance. Hello? I need an ambulance. You still got it. So other than him, no one else has been in there today? Just William and his aide. His aide is? Christopher Jenkins. You have any idea where he is? No. Occupied, man. Hey, get another stall, dick! Will! What the hell, you freaking pervert? Excuse me. Oh.